What up everybody, welcome back to the videos. Day two, not day two in Mexico, but second vlog in Mexico. We're actually going to play tennis today. Me and Levi Kai, three brothers, haven't played since LA. Kai changing his outfit for the third time just for tennis. We have to go to a resort next door because they don't have courts at ours. We're playing Levi for money, apparently. Guarantee you it's a racket throw. Play so bad now. Okay, John, let's go. Nice. Uh, so bad! So bad. Guys, <laughs> live on Instagram, streaming our match. How many people you got watching this right now? We got 1,100 people watching right now. Thirty love. Last point. Oh my God! We call that karma. Dad, do, do you like that shot that he just did or no? No, that's a bad choice. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> but what do you think of Jet doing an underhand serve? I think that was like, a, I can see that like this. Kind of disrespectful in the game of tennis, 100%, right? 100% he's like, don't give a shit. I'm just joking around with him. Yeah. This is what it would be like if you had a YouTube channel. Yeah. All right, the camera just, screen. Too. So you can see yourself. And I'll just walk around and kind of say, okay, this is what we've been doing on the trip so far. You know, this is really a great family trip, you know, at the best thing ever happened after four years. Now we kind of like everybody another four years older, a little more mature. Really loved seeing them, you know, gathering, family, eating, and my style. You like that one, huh? Yeah, you know. Let me know if my dad should start a vlogging channel. What up everybody? Day four, starting it a bit later. The weather's been pretty bad today, honestly. So we didn't do much, played a bunch of ping pong. but we're going to another hotel for food, show you some of that, maybe check out the resort over there. Let's go. fishing and caught a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna go scare Sid with this. But that video will be up on my dad's channel. Fresh catch and cook. Oh my god, what is, is that the only fish you got? Yeah. Stop, Jet! It's spiky, stop, Jet! We caught a bunch of bonito. Nice, can't wait to try it. <laughs> well, we're officially leaving. Tried to enjoy my time, but I did film another video on my dad's channel. And now we're flying back home. Let's check it out, double rainbow. I'm not sure if you can see both, but it's like right there. Only real YouTube OGs remember double rainbow all the way. Hi. <laughs> Is she not even excited? Or she's just sleeping? <gasps> just chilled the other night when we got back unpacked and everything like that. Many people enjoyed when I went to get Chinese food with my dad that or why not go again? Because it's definitely one of my vices like for junky eating, I'd say. It's just interesting to get my dad's take on it, obviously. Especially someone who grew up eating that food for so long. It's interesting to think when you're a kid and then you grow up, you're like, well, my parents had lives before I was alive. Because you don't really understand that concept. You just think like, oh, they're my parents. When my dad was my age, he was like just opening his first restaurant, I think actually close to my age, which is insane. But yeah, I'm gonna go get some more Chinese food, talk a bit about it. Like with mochi. I think I should make a series about eating certain kinds of food with my dad. I just thought of that. This one can be going to get eating Chinese food with my dad. I could do like eating Italian food with my dad, blah, 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 blah. Just getting his take and opinions on it. Let me know what you think. Just thought of that in my head. Let's go. Oh, a lot colder than Mexico, huh? Tell me about it. We're trying a new Chinese restaurant and a lot of people last time we went really liked hearing you talk about it. 
You're just eating a piece of ginger. Mm -hmm. Obviously there's tons of kinds, but if you're a separate Chinese food, like Cantonese, wow. Northern, like what are, the, what are the main kinds? The best, okay. This, uh, the southern part, which is a Cantonese cooking, classic steamed fish, and also the way they cook, it's always really quick stir fry. Most of the Cantonese dishes are based on, because the southern part has surrounded by ocean and also land, which is, you know, growing vegetable. The southern part is warmer, right? The other kinds, that would be the north, right? There's Beijingese style, world famous Peking duck, Shanghainese really love, love, you know, the Xiao Long Bao. And, and Shanghainese like to braise things. I'll oh, shut up with that. <laughs> I'm going to ask you more questions in the yeah. restaurant. So we're here now. I never understood about like most Chinese restaurants, how they have so many dishes. It's like insane. Yeah. <laughs> but the ingredients just over and over to use, right? Uh, like, uh, you get one now, like, uh, long ha, you mean long ha? Do ba, get bong a long ha. Chinese food quiz, but uh, it's multiple choice. But I'm gonna make it harder and not give you any of the answers. Sure. Yeah. Which of these is a specialty rice dumpling that is particularly popular during the Dragon Soul Festival? Yeah. Uh, uh, zhong. You know, zhong is like a uh, sticky rice. Wrap in uh, bamboo leaf. Oh, dumplings, did yeah. you say? Rice dumpling. Not dumpling, really? Dumpling? Multiple choice answers. Char su. Yeah. Song zi. Is that what you're talking about? Zhong, zhong zi. Yeah, zhong la. Uh, yeah, that zhong okay. zi is not a dumpling. It's actually, it's a, it's a, it's a rice pouch. This is wrong. <laughs> so is it a rice pouch it, 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 dumpling? It wrote by a, a guy who is not Chinese. So what is it? What does the name dim sum translate to directly in English? Touch your heart. It seems to me you're not very satisfying with my answer. I'm trying to make you look good. <laughs> well, no, you don't have to. I'm actually, you know, got the right answers. So. If you could only eat three Chinese dishes for the rest of your life, what would you get? Peking duck, there's one. Yeah. Steamed fish, there's two. Ginger, green onion, lobster. So you won't be able to have rice then? I don't care about rice. Really? You talk about Chinese dishes. Have you ever heard of the uh, 4.2, I think it's called, theory? Chinese restaurant theory? It's the theory that if it's a Chinese restaurant and the rating is above 4.2, it's not good. It's not authentic enough. It's probably too clean there. So if you're looking for a Chinese restaurant, you have to look at least <laughs> below 4.2. Oh, because at least something is dirty, yeah. something's not right. Right. Service is rude, so yeah. they call it a low point. It makes sense. Is it good? It's good. Why are you buying food? Do you say Chinese food is the most filling food? Uh, not filling, but just like you always eat so much, I find, when you go. Yeah, because the variety is so much. Yeah. So when you eat a lot of different things, because it's so easy, you say, oh, get some fish, get some chicken. But <laughs> it's not just chicken, right? There are other things on it. Behind Chinese food, what's your favorite food? I think Italian food. Oh, oh wait, Japanese food, I do like. Why, well, but you're talking about Asian? No, oh, just I, any. Oh, any? I do like, if it's Europe from East and West, I would love to eat Italian food all the time. All right, bye. Bye. Say bye to 50,000 people. Only 50? Oh, you see your videos getting millions, right? Yeah. <laughs> 50 only.